Alright, so we're in a, a city called Pritzigua. We're going to Kokoye Beach, uh, only accessible by boat. We're gonna be eating seafood over there, and having yeah, fun. Yeah. La Terrasse Blanche! Yeah, ba, ba, ba. Damps. Damps. Merci. What type of coach you gotta take your glasses off for? Look at this. Ready, monkey, go in. Ready? Oh, yeah. One, two, three. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. So guys, let me brief you on this island. This is like a side of Haiti I don't think anybody ever sees. So I'm just strolling down the beach and I see a crowd around this guy. It looked like a barber shop. And it in fact was a barber shop. So I pull up. He's using legit a paper clip, Instagram. Yeah. a razor blade, and a comb. And he's giving this dude a skin fade. So I ask him like, first off, um, have you ever used an electric razor? Uh, then we go on to talk no, about Instagram no. and Facebook. No. And I ask no. him if he has either. No. And bro, he doesn't even no, know what Instagram and Facebook it's are. It's and that kind of blows my mind a little no, no, bit no, because uh, so I think everybody knows what Instagram no, and Facebook is. Facebook. And it's so crazy that barbershop no. culture can no, get okay, across so the no, world. No, okay, it. it's okay. Uh, it. But Instagram and Facebook. So the shows more. On yeah. <laughs> so what's your name? Evans. Evans? I'm Sage. That's good to so around this time I feel like I'm starting to get a little bit annoying. Yeah. Get his name. But yeah, I just back up a bit because you, know, you don't really want to be talking to you when you're cutting somebody's hair. Do you use the the razor for um Aling? Chasse. Yes, the chasse, but but for couper, jamais. Okay. No. You do put your you put your razor, but for couper, you will not. You will couper, you will not. Tu dé dégrades avec ça aussi, oui? Oui. Ouais. C'est ça. Shout out to La Terrasse Blanche for bringing us here. Last time they were here, like this time there's there's people here, I think like Americans, but last time they were here, there were six people, had a whole island to themselves. You get to eat, and I'm about to show you guys what we're eating. I have no idea what we're eating, but apparently it's, it's gonna be super dope. So anyways, I want to talk about how I got here and how successful I feel I am for discovering like this whole barber, barber life journey. I think it's like super important that people understand that it's not only about grinding but it's about living. And one of the things, one of our, all our callings is to essentially experience life. Uh, I feel like I'm an absolute success and I, I feel like I blueprinted the whole thing almost like a music album like Jay-Z and I know how to get it in this industry right now and in my career I'm in a period where like I, I feel like I paid my dues I've learned I've earned I have the track record the portfolio to show you uh, various projects we worked with the NBA we've worked with Vice um, we've been on TV like we've done a number of things and uh, I feel like we're at a return phase right now where like I'm just ready to give it all back not necessarily as interested in the cutting part but more into the education and teaching and building entrepreneurs out of us barbers from a complete entrepreneur that can understand their finances and how to experience life like this. Like, I think it's key, it's key for us, man. I don't think we should be slaving all, all our life uh, to one point hate what we're doing. And me hitting this crossroads right now and realizing that I want to return all my knowledge and give it back to everybody who, who wants it. Um, yeah, I want to offer a complete course for, for, for barbering. And complete, I mean, not just cutting hair, but also the entrepreneurship side, also the marketing side, also the philosophy side, because I have a specific way of, of targeting and attracting clients. But grateful, man, like, you see, like, we got a guy over here 
on the island of Cocoyo, Cocoya, and Pertigua of Haiti. And he's chopping people up, man. This stuff is universal. This barber life is universal. He even said he doesn't have Facebook or Instagram, which is, which is like, you know, it's like something you don't hear nowadays, but it shows you that you can get this bread anywhere. It's an acquired skill, and it's a skill that everybody needs. And let me tell you something about it too. It's not just about um, perfect haircuts. It's about building strong relationships. When you have strong relationships, You'll be straight no matter where you go. No matter where you go. So again, shout out to La Terrasse Blanche for introducing me to this, bro. This beautiful island. Like the water is like crystal. I think, I, I think we got our food in, so I'm gonna go get, check that out. I'll check back in in a bit. On fait une photo, une autre photo Mali, t'en as déjà T'en veux Je peux partager avec toi. Oh, ouais. 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 Ouais.